morning, folks, and welcome back for another episode of Call of Cthulhu. I've checked and checked again, and as you can see here, I mean, as you can see here, <laughs> pressing the inventory button repeatedly, we do not have the medkit in our possession. I have no freaking clue where to get it from. I do not know. I won't stop looking though. Where where does this go? Nowhere. Okay. So I'm still debating whether to save uh, what's in there. Oh, it's this place. Okay. I'm debating whether to help uh Ka I was tired when I was looking last night, okay? I was really tired. I have no excuse. That doesn't guarantee we're going the right way. You dead? Any zombie friends? So yeah, I was saying, I was debating whether to help Cat or this uh, known man We cannot go in there By giving them the, the heal But there is a chance that Cat might help us in the long run and this is why I want to help her At the same time, she did say that she would murderize us Hey you! Yes? Come over here! Yes They got the boss Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. Do you want a med kit as well? We have so many customers. That is a hall I've never used. Ah. <sighs> uh. No. Accident. Emergency case. List of contents. This first aid kit will be useful. These possessed madmen are wiping out dark water, and I count on leaving here alive. One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it? Who is this other guy? Who is Mitchell? Is Mitchell the, the bar owner? To be honest, he treated me like shit when I uh, visited the first time. But Cat is planning on killing us, so maybe we should heal Mitchell instead. I can't decide. Hope his boss will have more luck. Truth to be told? I like Cat a lot. Shit. They're going to the whaling station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. Can't I shoot to them? Oh shit. What if we start busting caps? bastard this is fine I don't need to hide I can shoot them all where did they go okay you're the lucky one take me to the whaling station no other reason but because you're closer, actually. <laughs> there we go. That's my excuse. I'm sorry, cat. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. There you go, buddy. Here, take it. Oh, thank you. 
The entrance to the whaling station is behind. Behind where? Feel better. Probably where that uh, officer was earlier, right here. Did he give us a key? Also, do I have any more points? I have zero. Part of me wishes that I upgrade my eloquence to 100 earlier. I have almost zero sanity. <laughs> Wait. I still have this. Does that mean I can heal Cat as well? I see a zombie sailor back there. Get off! No. Who's there? No. She didn't make it. Oh, okay. I get to keep the medkit then. I walked all this way for nothing. You hear me, cat? For nothing. Something tells me she will be back with a vengeance. Because Fowler has that power. Uh, did you guys say I have to go at the back? God, I feel like I've been walking on this pier for ages. It's been 10,000 years! I better have a key for this, yeah. Thank you, uh, Mitchell was your name? <sighs> <sighs> Is this a door? It is not. What is going on with my frames right now? Why is everything going to shit? <sighs> Damn it! Am I out of bullets now? But what if, and hear me out, we're also out of sailors, because I killed every single one of them. Oh no, there's more. Well, that's unpleasant. That scared me. He's also a zombie. Let's be very, very quiet. I've been killing them willy-nilly. Oh, poopies, there are so many of them. Let's hide here. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. What's happening? Nobody's letting me on the secrets. I think this is the whaling station. That's a fancy candle. Boys, we made it. We're there. Try not to burn my skirt going up the stairs. Ears crossed the docks, where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. All over the place, Leviathan slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After fighting his way through, and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders, Pierce finally reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad.
Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah, as were those bastards. I gotta find her quick. What was that, Pierce? Free who? This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Someone is singing. There's gotta be more zombies down here, or I don't know, cultists or something. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Yeah, give me that. What do we have here? This key opens the offices of the Whaling Station. There's a secret item here, too. Fuller was a crew member, too. Interesting. I thought you figured that out already. Wednesday, 23rd, June 1847. 33 North, 53 West. This is where they uh, caught the thing. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It's practically gutted our ship with these tentacles. I don't know how my harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. That was a very cool thing to find. I'm glad we found that. Apparently, Pierce had no freaking clue that Fuller was part of the crew. There's another secret item here. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mountain. That was not a secret item. Pick it up. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. Friday 4th, June 1847, 53 North and 53 West. We are starving. The fish seems to have deserted these waters. If I don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. It's day, more and more men believe in his tales of a miraculous catch. Merciful God, help me. Wednesday 9th, June 1847, 57 North and 51 West. We sighted an enormous whale further to the south. That's before they caught it. The biggest we've ever seen. Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is the miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it back home to feed our families. Whoops, wrong bouton. And so they did. And everybody went crazy. No secret items in here, I don't think. All I needed was a rope. This is where we needed the key. Another secret item. It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. Friday 27th, June 1847. 37 North and 63 West. The whole crew has descended into a madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city. 
and of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in my cabin. Won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has twelve men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Paint store from log four. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. Rusty knife. Did we get any more points just asking for a friend? No, 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 no. Oh, that was the door. And that brings us to the other side, okay. Doesn't work. Oh, there we go. This will bring it closer. Can we tie the rope to the thing? There we go, nice. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. I have a knife. Is this a secret door? No. The beast in the cave. Why did the music change? The cultists get me? Where's the other ladder? There was another ladder right about here. What? Yeah, where's the ladder? can't be above me. It had to be below me. That should do it. I don't see any friends. We've been through there. This is it. Oh, my boy doesn't like that. What is that thing? What is that thing? Sarah? seeing a lot of weird shit and seeing the dead leviathan in the whaling station was not that thrilling compared to the other weird shit we've seen but whatever Pierce I cannot see my inventory probably my sanity has dropped to zero Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness at wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. 
You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Nope. No, I'm not here. No solicitors. Leave me alone. Give me back my whiskey. No. Stop. No. You will hurt your head. Do you really want a headache? Fine, okay, I'll let you in. Okay, he's gone. Back to my office. Ah, <sighs> so... What was I working on? What day of the week is it? Well... Now that that's out of the way... That was a very wet sound. Oh, nice. I needed that. So this is the big catch. While the sailors were going insane, Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Thursday, 25th, June 1847. Fitzroy encouraged the men all day. They are in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can't hear the screams of their comrades turned mad. Some of them hurt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them. Others chose to embrace them. Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in his biblical nature. I told them to get rid of it before it's too late. This thing is not the work of God. So much oil, thank you. Oh, <gasps> chest. An old log. Captain Hamilton's logbook, Monday 24th, May 1847. We have sailed from the island of Darkwater towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. I don't believe in these tales. It's not a good time for us. My men haven't seen the slightest trace of a whale for quite a while. If this season doesn't improve, they will not longer wish to serve on the Scylla. Sunday 13th, May 1847. We are not the only hunters here. While we were looking for a prey, we found dead whales. A dozen of them, drifting, their entrails exposed. They had been shred, as if they had been attacked by a huge predator. It's very strange. Perhaps it is a sign from God. Perhaps it is this good catch that we have long hoped for. We must find it, whatever the risk. Belonging to the captain of the Scylla, the pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Excision of the Madness Stone. Beliefs and other superstitions have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought, uh, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. The trepanation of the skull and excision were thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived. Sometimes he was cured. Today the vocabulary has changed, but the methods a little less. Do they like uh, lobotomize them or something? Isn't that the term? Here's our boys, Fitzroy and Fuller. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. A forgotten photograph in the offices of the whaling station. Only a handful of the Scylla crew is present. Captain Fitzroy and Dr. Fuller are included. It is dated 1847. Oh, I, I, I think I don't like seeing this, uh, so uh, what do we do now? So, don't look at it. Don't look, I'm, I'm going to moonwalk my way there if I have to. I don't get upset by looking at the meat, but whenever I look at the corpse of the thing, I freak out. Why am I here? That's unnecessary. Yeah, am 
my boy doesn't like confined spaces. Why did I choose to do that? Come on, buddy, you can do it. Come on. You have light. We're almost out. Keep walking. There we go. That's how you do it. Just don't look at the beastie. Don't look at the beastie. Do not. Learn to obey. No. Oh, I wasn't looking at you. No. No. Leave me alone. Ah. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See... It's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Begin what? Be begin what? Are those s sleeping pills? No. I don't want it. <laughs> you can't make me. No. It's not even a bed in here. I want to sleep. I'm sleepy. I don't have a choice on the matter, do I? Don't take the treatment. Don't take the treat. Don't take the treat. I said don't. No. Hey Jeff, Frank, Tommy, you having a good time, enjoying your meal? Can I have some? Don't eat the meat. We can't. There's no way, I'm already insane. Oh, gross, it's so slurpy. Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I, who knows what I can make? Fuller. I, I killed him. Unnecessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Show me my inventory. Eloquence. Up to 80%. I know it's not enough. Validate. Sanity is almost zero. Psychotic. There is a secret. A forgotten secret. So old and terrifying. Which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes. Or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth. And you have seen the frightening face of reality. Sarah, you there? Sarah, can you hear me? Sarah, let me know if I went past you. Did, did I go? No, we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Find the truth and be free. Find the truth and be free. This one! Huh? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Do I have a light? What? 
that wall wasn't here before. Can I take the lantern with me, please? The things I do to find Sarah Hawkins. Excusez-moi? Look at that! That's a cheeky one. So through here, here, and boom, we're in- Oh, no! <laughs> You got me, game. I think we got it now. Hold on. Straight. Turn here. And here. Yeah. Did I reset again? There's gotta be more to that that I'm not seeing. I can see a lever exactly in the middle, but is this the same as the one over there? Can we go around it? No. Am I allowed on this platform? So this one and this one are fake, and the one on the far left seems to be the correct one. We got it! Game saved. Wait, I'm not allowed to go back? Oh, thank you. Nothing's happening. Is there more to it? one is the correct one the one on the far right oh no um i think it's this one it's the wrong one it was the one right next to me i did say myself it's the one on the far right <laughs> This is wrong? Interesting. Do we have to redo the whole thing? So it's the one connected to this pipe right here. Now what? Caught me game. I was readjusting on the chair. Let's do that again. Oh 
Go, 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 go! I'm right behind you, keep going! Crouch, you stupid idiot! Come on, we're almost out. That's what they want you to believe. Nope, wrong way. Surely we got this now. We got this in the bag. So close to me. I need a head start. Forgive me for being so bad at video games. I'm doing my best. And we were all of us there. Here's Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not going to hurt you. I won't go without a fight. It's empty, by the way. You think you're here of your own accord? Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head! Our supreme oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? In his awakening. his phone number Pierce finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood the monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals at the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny Pierce blew up the whaling station and after a final confrontation with Leviathan he passed out Anymore. Are you sure?
On a scale from one to Leviathan, how crazy am I? Oh no. Oh no, what are they doing? Where are we? Where was the whaling station? I cannot... I cannot open my inventory. We're batshit crazy. Is this the whaling station? Do I have lantern? You are trapped. Who said that? Keep going. <laughs> My God. This way. Stand up. Walk. This is my voice. Is somebody there? Hey! Who are you? Miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Colden. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Oh, well done. That was really impressive. Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. 
you'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Colton? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. The voice beyond the grave. Achievement and I have no idea what these achievements are. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop fighting the dead. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. We already ate the thing, didn't we? What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. We already ate the flesh of the Leviathan, so it's pretty... I think it's already too late for us. I, I still have no access to my inventory. Do I still have any semblance of sanity in me, is the question. Can we avoid our death? What is happening? Can I take the boat and leave? Oh. Not a huge fan of the head bobbing. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Well, this is the music from the menu. Whose idea was all these stairs? I'm a wounded man, have some mercy. Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go, she is waiting. I don't want to, I want to go home to my boring office. To my maidenless life. What have they done to me? There is no going back. Come on. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. 
To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. It's safe to say that we are beyond saving at the moment. You can barely stand up and yet, here you are. You never give up. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. Choose what? I'm here against my will. Hawkins. from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak. Of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, this guy loves my choking family, me. My own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? You gotta admit, I'm more handsome than you. Damn, I'm ripped. Look at me. Look at this handsome man. This is why she chose me. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. So you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. You rejected her half-truths. That's cool and all, but I didn't get to choose. Music is so loud, so overwhelming. It's right there. Here? Here, right? I'm almost there. Whose idea was to build this in the first place? Like one million freaking staircases. This looks pretty cool. Hey guys, I made it!
Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Master Occultism? This one is impossible. How the hell do you get this option? Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Perform the counter ritual. Dedicated to the founder of the chaos, you the grand. I didn't get to read. W what happened though? <laughs> Did we do it? Did we survive? What? Did Algernon save me? Or did I become the Leviathan myself? And I was released into the sea. Now I want to know. I'm. I'm not satisfied with this ending. I want to know. It's not going to be a happy ending, by no means. I mean, I know Lovecraft not being, you know, a very happy ending type of guy, but there's got to be more to this. There's got to be like a, a, a post credit scene or something. Overall, I, I really did enjoy the game good atmosphere, 
pretty interesting gameplay. The puzzles were alright. I did enjoy the characters very much. It was very engaging and intriguing. I liked the system with uh, uh, the investigation, the uh, items, the, the medical stuff, the occultism and all that. I really liked our stats tree. It was very, very interesting. Music took a turn. Hopefully none of this is copyrighted. I don't get uh, DMCA'd on YouTube. Anyway, let, let me know what you think down in the comments. It's uh, October and we're playing spoopy games. It's my favorite time of the year. We are playing all kinds of games from adventure to action to pretty much everything. Just name it. And uh, the investigation one was uh, up to my speed. I'm glad I, I played this. There's another one I wanted to look into, but I don't know if we have the time to do the whole thing on YouTube, at least for this October, but we'll see how that one goes. I was thinking of uh, songs of... Uh, songs of horror? Song of horror? I've heard it's a good thing. I've heard good things about it. Even though it's a lot harder, because you have to keep your characters alive or you will never see them again. We'll talk about this another time. As for now, again, let me know what you think down in the comments if you enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, and I will see you all in the, the next LP. What are we playing next? I don't know. There's a bunch of other games that come or already play on YouTube for you for this Halloween. Let's see if there's a post credit scene, and if not, Thank you for watching, have fun, whatever you do, take care of yourselves, and do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you.